We back in the lab, Captain's Low Podcast. <laughs> Cut. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? Back in the lab, back in the studio, Captain's Log Podcast. I'm your host, Robert Marbury. What's going on? Happy Wednesday, folks. <clears throat> Episode 65. We're going to keep it rolling. Probably be short today. You know what I'm saying? Got too much to talk about. But definitely want to start by saying uh, shout out to <clears throat> Washington football team for getting that W over New York. Oh, man. Rough game. Defense is looking terrible. But... We still won. So, um, defense is definitely looking terrible. Secondary, getting burnt. You know what I'm saying? Linebackers getting burnt. You know, um, we got the Bills on Sunday, 1 p.m. Um, I think it's at the Bills, too. So, uh, we're not going to be getting so lucky with these wide open missed catches. So, uh, hopefully, man, they can pull that together. Uh, A lot of injuries. Uh, Two was out. Uh, Andy Dalton. A bunch of players out, man. So, Hopefully they can get that together, man. But it has been some really exciting football. I'm I'm very pleased on what's been on the on the TV screen. It ain't, ain't really been too many dull games. But I'm not gonna do too much on the on the sports today. <clears throat> I want to talk about support, man. Support is a big word, ain't it? <clears throat> if you really think about it. So I want to talk about support mainly in the aspect of your spouse, you know, your husband, your wife, your boyfriend, or your girlfriend. Hmm. So my wife is my biggest fan in podcast and in life, period. Biggest fan, best friend. And she always getting on me. She always getting on me. She always nagging me. Oh, you you, you need to work out. We should work out together. Uh, uh, you need to make sure you cycle this week. Oh, you shouldn't eat that. You shouldn't eat that. You should eat this. God damn. Let me do what the fuck I want. But it's all love, though, man. Because that she, the reason why she's doing that or why your spouse is, your, your partner is doing that to you is because they see when you're not your best self. <clears throat> so for me, you know, teleworking, you know what I'm saying, ps 4 and all day, you know, on the, on the computer, emails, on the phone, you know, trying to watch TV, pretty much trying to do everything besides just my job. Um, you know, I have days when I'm angry. I have days when I'm irritated, days when I won't be bothered. And and it usually just gets worse if I don't release the stress, you know what I'm saying, which for me is exercise. So she'll sit back, you know, she'll let me go one or two days and she'll just be like, so what you about to do today? Oh, you oh you about to go cycle? Oh, so you about to go cycle? Oh, I right, bet. So that's my that's my key that I, I ain't been doing what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. So <clears throat> shout out to the wife, man. Uh, big kudos to you. You're always on my case. You know what I mean? You are nagging me. You are. But it's love, though. So. You know, it, it comes off as nagging at first, but then later on, I'm like, yeah, she she was right. I am out here fucking up. So, man, if you have somebody like that, man, just just take it with a grain of salt. Take it on the chin. Do what you got to do. <clears throat> so what's next? So the bike is up for sale. Yes. Finally, after seven years, put my motorcycle up for sale. 2013 BMW S1000 RR. It's on sale right now. For ninety five hundred, if you're interested, send me a comment, shoot me a DM, shoot me an email. If you got my number, text me. Um, do I really want to sell it? Yeah, I do. I do. I do. She got twenty one thousand miles on her. You know what I'm saying? And I think uh, maybe two or three thousand, maybe two thousand three, maybe two thousand of them miles is all track miles. And the other like eighteen or nineteen is all street miles. I bought it. I bought it for eleven thousand miles, <clears throat> and it's got everything on it. It's got full Leo Vinci exhaust. It's got full Olin suspension. It's got Bryn Tune Final Edition. It's got Motion Pro Rev. It's got IRC Auto Blip. It's got Armor Body uh, Plastics. You know, runs on pump gas. It's got Brembo Master Cylinder. I, you know, the list goes on. Got some Pirelli slicks on it. You know what I'm saying? It, Pretty much enough to get the job done. But um, 
these newer bikes, man, just, just kind of dusted me off a little bit, man. I went to pit race, me and my man Cornell, Carlton, shout to them, Sebastian and them, up North Cats. And, um, you know, we was doing our thing, man, but bikes a little heavy. You know, compared to these newer bikes, it's a little heavy. I, I, think, the, I think my bike weigh about 450, 60, 70 pounds, something like that. So, um, you know, that weight play a part. I mean, I weigh 220. So just imagine you on a bike, you know, these bikes now weigh 400 pounds, maybe 415, 420. And then let's just say you weigh 180, you know, 170 pounds. So here I am, I'm carrying an extra 80 pounds. You know what I mean? So that plays a huge part. You know, when it comes to, you know, track day or racing or, you know, trying to be a track day warrior, <clears throat> all that shit plays a part. Don't get me wrong. My shit's fast. It's a fast bike. Just don't take them turns that good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I can't I, I can't dump it in there like these newer bikes, man. The electronics only, you know, only going to save me with so much. It'll save me if I get on the gas too early, but it's not going to save me if I turn up in there too hard. You know what I mean? So she up for sale. And um, I put the joint on for sale, man. Everybody like, oh, you ain't going to sell this shit. You're not going to sell it. Or what you about to get next? What you about to get next? That's all I've been getting is what you about to get next. Bruh, I don't know. Let's get it sold first. I only had about three people trying to get it. I had one person offer me some stupid ass low price. I had another person. He was trying to sell the shit he had to get mine. You know, then was kind of low key haggling on the price. That, that fell through. And then I got somebody else who asked me. You know, for a, a price not as low, but I'm not willing to go that low yet. So, she for sale, man. Um, she'll be sitting there for a while. You know, probably it'll probably take about a month, month or two to sell it. And if not, I'll just clean the shit off a little bit, and I'll ride it next year. Honestly, I don't have to sell it. The bike been paid off for fucking years. But um, <clears throat> just that, man. Also, you know, I think I need to take that little time to reflect. You know, what I mean, I've been I've been hitting the track hard for like. Six, yeah, six going on seven years. I've been hitting it hard. So that's every every summer, that's every Memorial Day weekend. That was majority of the Fourth of Julys. Uh, pretty much, uh, there was a lot of Saturdays. There was a shit ton of Mondays. There was some weekends. You know, that was you know three four hundred dollars a whop. You know, the thousand fifteen hundred dollar race weekends. So honestly, I just think I need a break. You know, just to re recoup on the money, you know what I'm saying? Get a new focus, figure out what I'm going to do. Because I've also been getting asked, it's like, oh, uh, you going to buy a big bike or you going to buy a small bike? Well, you know, am I going to buy 1000 or am I going to buy 600 Bro, I don't know. I think when it comes time to buy, it's just really going to be like, okay, well, which, more, which one is, which one's a better fit? You know what I'm saying? I actually know more people that ride smaller bikes, more close-knit folks. So, I mean, I could lean that way, but then it's like, you know, the new R1 is kind of like the thing now, and I love the way it sounds. That, that, could, that could be the thing. I just think it really depends on, you know what I'm saying, when it comes time to buy, um, what do I want to spend my money on? You know what I'm saying? But I'm not done, though. No, 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 no. I may at the most take a season off, you know what I'm saying, but done? Nah. I'm too invested in it, man. I, you know, everything in my garage is motorcycle-related shit, so I don't think I could just sell a bike and just start fucking selling everything one by one. I don't think I can do that. So just taking a break from that, man. But um, it's going to be hard to uh, – definitely going to be hard if I sit out the whole season. It's going to be really hard to sit back, watch my boys get out there getting it in. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I might have to make a few special guest appearances if that's the case. I might have to borrow somebody's shit. But she is up for sale, though. So if you want – if you're looking for a nice, uh, well-maintained machine, holler at me. But besides that, man, uh, what else have I got going on? Uh, so the Facebook uh, Captain's Log podcast page is back up. Uh, fuck it. I mean, might as well. You know what I'm saying? I, I need to get a little bit more exposure, man. My my viewage, my subscribers have dropped. Don't leave me, please. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, I reached out to a social media uh, expert. You know, she gave me some pointers. You know, told me some shit I needed to do. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there there's still life outside of just paying for fucking ads and promos and all that. There's still some life. So I'm gonna keep on trying. I'm gonna keep grinding, man, and just try to put shit out more for y'all because I know, you know, I used to put it out every Monday and now I'm kinda all over the place. So I would rather put out, you know, a ten or eleven minute joint, you know, just kinda keeping y'all attention than to wait two, three weeks and then put something out. Then it's like, damn, bro, I waited this long for this. So that's the plan. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to finish this up here. I'm going to dress it up. I'm going to send it out later on in the day. Um, thank y'all for listening, man. Make sure you share, share, subscribe, support. You know what I'm saying? Tell somebody about me, man. All right? Captain out.